We are outside the home of Tom Cummins and Lomi Cummins, the artists, and so now you're going to see what they have done with their yard. And I'm gonna try to get some close-ups here. Oh, there is, there's Halomi coming. So, if you notice, there are these ex exquisite rock formation sculptures, works of art, very, very delicate. And let me take a, you'll see that they are all over. People stop every time they drive by. They have turned their home inside and out into a work of art. So, here we are. Hello again. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the outdoors. It's Tom, so. it's Tom Cummins. <laughs> so, just tell us a little bit about where did all these rocks come from and, and what led to this? What, what was the inspiration? Because these are incredible. Well, Ilomi is uh, from Japan and my ancestors were from Scotland. And in both countries, there's a lot of rock art. In Japan, they use uh, rocks like this to guide people to holy sites, to shrines and uh, they guide tourists uh, from one city to the next. And then they'll have a, uh, the rocks and they'll have writing on it telling people a little about the history of the place. And in Scotland, they used uh, rocks as boundaries, rocks as fences, they had carns. Mm -hmm. They would uh, a lot of times have art, uh, rocks for art, but a lot of the times uh, the rocks were meant to show people where to go, where not to go, uh, where good hunting was. Uh, uh, they could mark a clan that you should stay away from because they were quite dangerous, or uh, rock formations could tell you friendly places to go where it wasn't so dangerous. So uh, rocks speak to people, and they speak to Hilomi, and they speak to me, and and they speak to me now. <laughs> yeah, and everywhere, everywhere we've everywhere we've traveled in 21 states in America, we've built rock. Well, when we see rocks, we stop and we build. And so when we bought the house, one of the first things we did after we started unpacking, but every time the weather was nice, we would come outside, and we would go for a drive and collect rocks everywhere we could find them. And we've collected them on creeks and uh, farms and roadsides and rivers and everywhere. And we've even brought rocks uh, from Oregon, Washington. We have rocks from Japan. We have rocks from several states here, Utah, Colorado. And uh, we've incorporated those into native rocks from for Kentucky. And we have rocks from Indiana. And one thing I think that might surprise people to know these, how, how are these put together? Uh, it's gravity and balance. Uh, <laughs> so th people so stop by, not, yeah, when we're out here working, people say, are those glued together, <laughs> cemented together? Exactly. How do you do that? And it's just, you know, sometimes they fall and we put them back up and not necessarily in the way they were because and each so one is unique. it's constantly changing. Every if, time I every come time, here, yes. if you'll notice some of these uh, rock, you know, beautiful uh, works of art, are transformed and so they're constantly being transformed and reborn so it's a very rejuvenating experience to come here and see this and, and I, I would think it'd be a wonderful place to meditate I do a oh, lot of is. TM I and do my transcendental meditation we, and this is had, just uh, we've had people knock on our door and people stop us while we're out here and they said you know uh, every time I go by here I feel like I should be meditating <laughs> And, uh, one, and isn't that one wonderful? man stopped by and knocked on our door and he said he just had to tell us what a religious experience oh he gosh. felt by, by being in the yard. And he asked if he could change a few of the rocks. <gasps> and we said strong? fine because, you know, we just have fun building them. Exactly. And somebody says, well, aren't you afraid people will knock them down? And my thought is, we have fun building them. So I have, hope they have just as much fun knocking them down as we did building them. And as long as they leave the rocks, we'll build them back. Exactly. So because it's fun. So, it and is, and that is, I think, art. Art is about it's living, it's being alive, and it should be fun. It should playful, be creative. Playful, creative, yeah. and that is so healing, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, now show us your backyard. Okay. <laughs> 